this part though. Nah, Nicki Minaj, where are you at? is looking like a damn mess but i am so excited to get into today's video because i went a little crazy i bought four different wigs within the last like week and a half i do not need any more wigs i fell in love with a bunch of these wigs at least based on how the pictures looked when the sellers you know posted them on mercari i've cut open a bunch of the packages i haven't actually taken them all out of the package yet except for one so this is the one that i've taken out of the packaging and it's by sister wig i guess that's the model number or the style number whatever a set of two different really colorful wigs that I bought from the same seller. This is another curly wig, but I bought one that's not, you know, colored or anything. I want it to be like an alternative for my own natural hair. guys we got a little bonus action going on there's a fifth package with two wigs in it i completely forgot that a month and a half ago i bought two wigs from rosewholesale.com so they came straight from china and that's why they took a long time to get shipped and to get delivered and whatever So I split my hair into two, this section, this section. On each side, what I'm doing is I'm splitting it halfway here. To keep the hair kind of as flat as possible to my head and keep it out of the way, I'm doing a flat twist, which is like just two strands that you overlap back and forth. I'm doing a flat twist on any part of the hair that's against my scalp and my head. So here's the flat twist. I'm gonna finish this one off with a regular braid and then I'm gonna repeat the process on this side. So my four braids are done. I'm gonna use some Lusty Edge Gel with a little edge comb, both from Dollar Tree. I feel like I plug and mention Dollar Tree in every single video of mine. They are the plug. Not all of these wigs have bangs, so I'm not sure where exactly they're gonna sit on my head, and I just wanna make sure that my natural hair stays back and as flat as possible. Then once I finish my edges, I'm gonna use bobby pins to hold these four braids after I wrap them around my head just like that. So my edges are all pretty much in place. But boy, no amount of makeup is gonna help me rock this little quadruple corner devil hairdo. But Lord knows we're still gonna attempt to fix this face. The eyeliner wings do not match, but that's okay because I'm gonna be going in with some overdramatic, ridiculously long, crazy eyelashes anyway. So this doesn't really matter. I switched to a bandeau because I didn't wanna have an ugly, frumpy looking shirt on or anything that covers the shoulders and stuff because I really wanna see what each wig looks like with the length and everything and now it's time to get into the wig what are you doing you've been having a weird mood i think he's about to go through puberty or something oh okay <laughs> i don't know what's going on right now Lean. ew are you regurgitating no 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 don't regurgitate for me so let's start with this one kind of looks like a clown wig <laughs> i'm not gonna lie I'm a little nervous. Oh boy, just without even looking up, my side view of what's around my face right now looks ridiculous. Okay, hold on, let me actually adjust it. Um, I don't know what to think. If I lift it up higher, is that better? I don't want my head to look too big though up here, but I don't want the bangs to be in my eyes. Honestly guys, this is not my usual go-to type of wig, but it was pretty cheap and I do like colorful stuff off and on. Usually throughout the years, like anything crazy colored like this, I've always gotten just straight or kind of wavy-ish. It's never looked semi-natural on me. It's never been like curly curly like this, kind of like my real hair. But it low-key looks natural i looked at it in the mirror and it's pretty cute i'm liking the curly hair with the bangs look and it's not terrible so back to this craziness bear with me ah. i've never really owned a colorful wig that's this long all the colorful ones that i've had always were like a bob type of haircut and they would end like here so this one and the next purple one are completely brand new though they never even got tried on by anyone and it's Feel Me brand, Feel Me Premium Wigs. I'm scared. 
Okay. <laughs> Ow. I don't know. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, where are you at, girl? I feel like this is one of those wigs where it's like, I can't just be my my normal self and just try and be like a, a cute girl with it. I gotta be like, like I'm hot shit, you know what I mean? And the curliness and the waviness in the top does look pretty natural. It looks just like when my hair is straightened and then it's been straightened for like a week or so and it starts getting that waviness to it. This stuff does look real, but as far as the, the root part coming out, definitely fake looking. And as far as the ends, definitely fake looking. I don't think I'm gonna try reselling it because I do like it and I can style it, which is also another plus. Oh boy. <laughs> Purple's my favorite color. And this is like a deep purple. Whoa, it's long. Ooh, this one's tight. Ah, and ishy, ow, ow. Ow, itchy. <laughs> ah, this cap is tight as hell. I hate that itchy feeling. Oh my gosh, I hate it. <sighs> what? It is nice and ooh, soft and like silky though. So, once again, a very fake looking, but because it's darker, it's not as crazy. No, oh, it's still crazy, never mind. Okay, so this wig genuinely does not translate good on camera. Now that I've looked at it in the mirror, it actually looks okay. And like I said, I'm keeping in mind the idea of making this like 100% straight. Plus, I need to just cut the bangs a little short. Once they get cut, trimmed a little bit, I think it'll look better because, let me try and torture myself one more time. Whatever, with my eyes closed, for example, you can see that, I think you can see, that it looks pretty good when the bangs are completely, um, like a curtain. Oh, here's an idea. This actually doesn't look that bad. It looks a little more tame and cute if it's in like a ponytail or something. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. So maybe that's an idea? I don't know. The ends and stuff of this look way more natural than the minty one. Let me show you sideways. I think I forgot to show you sideways with the mint wig, but pardon me. Let me actually go all the way from behind and everything. These first few wigs, these unnatural looking ones, aren't the most important to me, so I think that's why I forgot to show you guys the full 360. Not bad. Oh my gosh, I love how every time I take one of these wigs off, this hair looks different. And here's the main one that I was excited about. Ah. The main one out of all of these that I've been waiting for. It's the one that's supposedly human hair, and it looked the most similar to my natural hair. Looks a little crazy while it's still wrapped up right now. Wow, I don't know. And what is this? What is this matted, frizzy? I gotta, I gotta do something about this. I don't understand. Like I thought that the whole wig was gonna be nice and perfectly curly, just like this underside. You know what, without me even trying to fix anything or untangle it, let me just put it on. Damn, tight as hell. Ow. <laughs> no, guys. I have to be able to fix this somehow. Maybe I really, maybe I have to wash it. Damn, maybe it is real hair because it looks all messed up. can't be it. And what is this? There's like an extra tiny plastic thing that came in the same package as this hair. Did they really throw in some little fake trash ass earrings? They must be like, let's try and get people to not be mad at us when they see this riggedy wig that they're giving us. Stop yelling, stop squeaking. I'm gonna kill my bird. Do you think I wanna wear this shit? It probably came on a strip long thing of tons of these little cheap rhinestone things and they ripped it by hand. Garbage. I feel like I'm from the 80s and I have a really bad hair day. Like, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe I have to fix it. This is supposed to be new though with no, nothing, you know, tampered with it and it's supposed to be in new good condition. So 
I don't know. I would like for this to work. So I just really want to, I want to fix it. But let's try the other two wigs for now. I'm taking out the other two, the ones from China, this one and this one. These are more along the order of the wigs that I've usually done over the years. Uh-oh. Look at the top. Not a nice and clean part. I've never used rosewholesale.com before, but I saw that they had pretty decent wig deals. And because it's a company, a wholesale company, and it's like a whole business instead of just a regular private person, you automatically always assume that you can, you know, trust them and that you're going to get a good quality product. So I bought two of them. Um, my little braid came out. I'm just gonna let it hang out for now, actually. With this wig specifically, it's a little more sensitive to the lumpiness under my, um, under the wig cap. If I want this to work out perfectly, I need to like adjust how the braids are underneath and maybe tie them really, really tight. I've had, ow, itchy. I've had my uh, curly hair dyed, you know, jet black like this. And when I straightened it, it did pretty much look like this, except for the layers though, that's the thing. I don't have layers in my hair because it's curly, of course, and it's hard to layer curly hair in the first place. And then when it's straight, I don't really want to get it cut layered because I don't know how it's going to turn out once it's back to being curly. Wow, this is not that bad. I actually like it. It's very like feathery and nice and silky and has a really good texture. Let me try and show you side view, kind of. I like it. Let me get this one off and then try the other one from Rose Wholesale. Very cute though, I really, I like it. Here we have the final wig. So let me separate it. Oh, so many hairs coming out already. Moment of truth. Oh. oh. So itchy. Man, that part! <coughs> I choked on my own spit. No, this part throws off everything. This hair is so nice. It's like a Pantene commercial type of hair. Ah, oh, let me get it off my ears. Are they serious with this type of part? It did not look like that in the picture. I would never, ever in a million years buy anything that looks like this hard, straight, Ugh. It's so crazy. The main ones that I was like waiting for and that I was most excited about are the two main ones that aren't gonna really work out for me. This other curly one, the real hair one, I'm gonna try and fix it. Maybe that one will hopefully work out. This one, I don't know what to do. What do you guys think? Is there a way to like, should I make bangs out of it or something? It's so thickly sewn in though that I think it's just made to be separate like that. I don't know if it's gonna work. It's such nice thick hair. It all needs to kind of still be separated. There is so much body in this. Look at this craziness. Wow, I really like this one, like a lot. Like, look at that. Is that not like a Pantene commercial type of hair right there? When they talk about like volume and luscious bounce and they, sh oh, look at that, like that posing. <laughs> the one eye showing like that. Like, uh -huh. Man, this part though. I mean, it's slowly growing on me. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like okay with it. I think this type of wig is the type that I would need like in a higher quality and like with a lace front or something. I've never used a lace front wig before ever. So that would be a whole new thing for me. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to like try out a lace front on camera or something. So this wig is starting to itch me now. For now, I'm gonna end this video here. Maybe when I like actually get around to figuring out this weird riggedy, then I'll make a video about it on its own because this video with the wig try on is probably already really long. I hope you enjoy this wig journey that you've been on with me. Make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos that I do about wigs or fashion or whatever. Like I've said before in a bunch of my videos, this channel is called The Impressive Mix because it has a crazy mix of everything. I want to literally have nothing be off limits. I want to cover so many different topics because I personally have so many different hobbies and interests and just a lot of things that I like to get into and there's stuff that my boyfriend gets into and like jobs that he does and jobs that I do. 
So there's a lot of things that I want to make videos about because it's so much fun and I love sharing content with you guys. So please subscribe, make sure that you don't miss any of my future videos and give this video a like down below if you enjoyed it. Hopefully I made someone's day a little brighter. <laughs> that was corny, but honestly, I just, you know, I want to make people smile and I hope you guys had fun with me. I had a lot of fun trying on all these wigs. All right, thanks for watching and stick around to hear my little video clip about my giveaway that's going on right now. Okay guys, so I'm super excited to give you a quick rundown about the first giveaway ever on my channel. There are gonna be two prize options for you guys to choose from. The two winners are going to be chosen once the impressive mix hits a thousand subscribers. For this first giveaway, I figured that the two prize options should be one that's related to beauty and fashion and one that's related to DIY projects. Hint, Home Depot. So the first option is this super cute faux patent leather. We're not trying to kill animals out here. Mini backpack by Vivi, and it's stuffed to the brim with some of my personal favorite beauty and skincare products that I love and I honestly use every single day. I think I gotta get up close for some of these. We have some sweet pea scented soap petals. My favorite face wash, they call it a facial foam on the bottle. It's by Pons, the Pure Detox Activated Carbon Charcoal. Got some my Cellar cleansing water for taking off makeup or just to cleanse your face by Yes to Cucumbers. This is my go to moisturizer because it's so light. It's the oil free acne moisturizer with pink grapefruit by Neutrogena. And this is the Be Joyful fragrance by Bath and Body Works. Even though it's like a Christmassy or like a seasonal type of fragrance, it's honestly my favorite personal favorite scent ever from Bath & Body Works. This is so cute. It's a unicorn shaped glitter filled bath bomb by Treat Me. And then I've got like five, six other small things that are going to be added in there. And the other option is going to be a $50 Home Depot gift card. If you or someone you know is a DIY person or they're into home improvement, or honestly, if they're anyone who has a house or an apartment or any sort of day-to-day -day responsibilities within their living space, you'll know that $50 at Home Depot can go a long way. So if you want to win either one of these, then all you have to do is subscribe to the Impressive Mix. And then whenever you're watching any videos on my channel and you see this clip that you're watching right now, then just make sure that you give a thumbs up down below and then leave a comment. Let me know which item you want and tell me why. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait till we hit a thousand subscribers. There's going to be a lot of good stuff coming your way, I promise. And I'll see you in the next one.